Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Click View Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a Click View Learner, and in this video, I will talk about the Keep function. So, before telling you uh, how we are going to use uh, the Keep function in this scripting, let me tell you what Keep function is and why we really need it uh, in the Click View scripting. So before telling you about keep, I, I have already posted a couple of videos about joins. So joins, as you understand, they basically helps us create uh, creation, helps us creating a join between a two different tables, kind of live, left join, right join or inner join based on your business condition. So what joins does, they, they create a join based on the type of join you are applying between the two tables and then it gives you a result as a single table after applying the type of join. So in the same way keep function works it basically applies the type of join it means left join or right join properties to the tables but it does not give you one single table however it keeps two tables separate. So basically in a nutshell joins apply a join between two different tables and create one resultant single table however uh, keep applies the join properties on two tables based on uh, and based on the type of keep right keep or left keep you want to do between two tables it applies on those tables but keeps two tables different now why we really need uh, keep in a state of join is uh, because number one uh, sometimes join create a very huge table which may result into a lot of in inefficiency while you are running the result because it takes a lot of your memory and your results may delay and number two is because sometimes just because of some business reason you don't want that two tables to merge suppose uh, based on uh, the table on which you are trying to make a join you know the first table or the second table needs to be joined to a separate table so basically you know uh, in those kind of business scenarios where we just don't want one single table but apply the effect of joins on two tables but keep them separate we really use the keep function so let's quickly move on to the example that uh, I have created for you to explain the keep function. Here you can see, you know, we have a product uh, table and a sales orders table. So we have a couple of product IDs and uh, the one product IDs based on which we will going to evaluate the result is this 2001. So this is a product ID for which product name is present in the master product table, but there is no sales against it so generally you know this this is a you know a dimension basically you can say or product name without any facts or any sales orders so it is also one of the data modeling best practices that you should not have these kind of records because they unnecessarily take the space so we will going to utilize the, ex the keep functionality by removing this record so for this let's quickly create click on clear go to the uh, edit script by either clicking here on edit script button or pressing control E so you can see here we have those two tables the the product ID the the product table this product table and the sales order table <clears throat> and currently there is no keep function or join function however as you know if the two tables have similar uh, uh, you know column name click view creates automatic join so here we will going to use here we will going to use the right keep function because this sales order table is our right table and prior to this this product table is our left table so what we really want to do that we should show only those records against which the sales has been done so so that you know there are no records uh, which do not have any effect or there are no product which which are uh, you know reflecting here and doesn't have any sales record so for this we will going to use the right keep we will just use this right keep and the sale load statement so this is basically uh, you know 
syntaxes just before the loads keyword you will going to use the keep the right keep or left keep ordinary keep based on your requirement so the result will be that uh, th that 2001 record the 2001 product id will going to remove from our both the tables and we will be only having those records against which sales been done as well as these two tables will reflect as a two two separate tables but not the one separate table like a join but we are applying the join property like a right join okay so let's click on save and click on reload once we reload you you will see this 2001 is now gone right you will not see the 2001 record even if i quickly search here in this column you won't see the 2001 so so this is basically a use and uh, of click view function uh, i'm sorry the click view keep function and if I go to the table viewer properties by pressing Ctrl T, this is how you can see that records are not merged into one single table like a normal join uh, that you produce between two tables. So this is basically the main functionality is that uh, use the join properties, but also keep the two tables separate so that you can further use it according to your business condition. So this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss about the keep function. I hope uh, I'm able to explain uh, about its use, why you really need, need it and how you will going to utilize it in the script. And now I will meet you in a new video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.